Clinton and Chelsea Clinton, who co-wrote the book of Gutsy Women. Um, Hillary, I have to ask you a question that has been plaguing me for a while. How did you kill Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> because you, you, you're not in power, but you have all the power. <laughs> I, I really need to understand how you do what you do. Because you seem to be behind everything nefarious, and yet you do not use it to become president. What is the game plan? <laughs> well, Trevor. What is, what, but honestly, though, what does it feel like being the boogeyman of the right? Well, it's, it's a constant surprise to me. Um, because the things they say, and now, of course, it's on steroids with uh, being online, uh, are so ridiculous beyond any imagination that I could have. And yet they are so persistent in putting forth these crazy uh, ideas and theories. Honestly, I don't know what I ever did to get them so upset. Have you, have you ever thought of just like meeting someone who says, like, Henry, you did this, and just looking at them and being like, yes, I did. <laughs> I also think it's because it is effective. Like, I'll never forget reading an article after the 2016 election where the reporter interviewed someone who had been an undecided voter, and he said, you know, he thought my mom had won all three debates, she clearly had a greater command of the subject matter, and yet he just kept reading that she had murdered more than 50 people. And he said somewhat nonchalantly, like, I don't think that she murdered 50. <laughs> but like, what if she murdered two? <laughs> and so you just think it's this like constant erosion of, of truth and sanity. Right. The country's gearing up 